Hello, Andrew here. Today I'm going to go over a little uh, and talk about case auto response rules. Uh, so this is a pretty useful feature, especially if you're using the uh, uh, service side of Salesforce. Right here, I have a playground open. I'm just going, uh, I'm in the setup. I'm gonna type, type in response rules. And as you can see, they're very similar uh, lead auto response rules and case auto response rules. Um, <clears throat> today, like I said, going over case. So case auto response rules, you can have multiple of them it's similar to other things in uh, Salesforce, but only one can be active at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one standard case response rule. Okay. So there I go, I activated it as I created. So now this is the only one that will run at a time. Now within this, uh, the auto response rule, you can have multiple different lines of rule entries. And that's where the power is gonna come for different types of cases, you know, the reasons they're started or where they're started from, uh, things like that. You're always gonna have a sort order, start there at the top. I'm just gonna put this one one as number one, it'll be uh, tried first, uh, I'm going to go ahead. If the case reason is uh, a breakdown, I want these people to know uh, immediately that, you know, the case has been created and we're on top of it. So in the, in the from sender, uh, this is still going to be standard for me, but I'm just going to put a service department and service department at company.com. Okay, so there we go. That's that's uh, just something you add in just so they know who it's coming from. Probably will we'll want to have that something generic. And then if you want a separate address that they can reply to, you're gonna add that in there. Uh, and then obviously uh, a huge power behind your auto response rules is the template that you create for those rules. I just have the generic playground ones here. So I'm just gonna have the support case response template there. But basically you could create a template there that deals with uh you know the certain criteria that is being met here uh, and send that auto response directly to the person who submitted it who submitted the response and they're gonna know what's going on they're gonna have that update uh and then obviously if you have surveys enabled uh you could attach that on there so they could uh fill out the survey on their experience with your company up to that point so go ahead and save Oh, I guess um, <clears throat> you do have to have a valid. Uh, that was a slight overlook on my part. So I'm just going to put my email in there. Um, and there we go. Uh, that's a, a validated email as far as uh, Salesforce is concerned. That's the first rule. You could add many more entries in this uh, standard case response rule. But that's, that's the auto respo response rule. Super useful for letting uh, your, your uh, clients know or you, the, your customers when their case has been submitted that you guys are on top of it and, uh, you know, take away some repetitive work that an employee might have to do if you didn't have the case auto response rules uh, activated. Thanks.